Day everyone. Today I got a funky new fly to share with you. Brent's Electric Chicken. Here's a fly that I originated when I fish in Florida down in the Everglades in the back country where the waters are dark stained waters. We use some bright flies. This one here, what inspired me to tie this coloration was you know, you go in the tackle section of a lot of these big stores and you see all the different colorations of lures out there and so forth. You're gonna give you some ideas and there were some soft baits with this electric chicken coloration and uh, I've used those and, and uh, they do work. They're, they're quite a unique color combination so what I've done is incorporated it into a little fly and uh, it's worked well down there in the saltwater species in the back country like I said. I brought it up here uh, to Canada and we started fishing this in some of our local waters here and I'd be surprised they're trout like it too so I'll give you the materials to tie this fly it's a little this one's thinking out of the box for sure so <laughs> don't think less of me but it does catch fish I'm going to use a Gamagatsu SC15 it's a saltwater wide gape hook size 2 and for the eyes I'm going to use some bead chain eyes kind of gives it a little undulation I like it's more like a jig and for the tail here comes the chicken part. It's the blood marabou. This is uh, barred black and chartreuse. And that chartreuse is a great color combination with hot pink. So we're also going to use some two different ice stubs for the materials in the body. We're going to use some UV ice and some holographic char chartreuse. And then to give us a little more accents, I'm going to use some large crystal hackle and fluorescent fuchsia or hot pink and dyed polar chenille chartreuse this is UV as well this really uh, lights up the water it is definitely electric so uh, let's get a hook in the vise and tie it up I'm going to use some flat bright yellow thread to tie with let's get our salt water hook in here and you can use your you don't have to bite salt water hooks if you want to just fish it on your local lakes or rivers, whatever you want to do. Okay. Get my thread started at the front. Give me some bead chain eyes. What I do with them? I had some left out. No, I guess not. I'll have to dig in my bag. There's one. And them all clipped off. Now I what I do is tie these eyes right at the front. Just going to exit them on there. X and then I'll come in behind underneath like that and that'll tighten it up quite a bit and you can put some head cement on there too okay now let's bring in this beautiful barred marabou that's a blood quill just going to take a bunch off the side here gather it all up this looks really good moves in the water really really nice and give it a long tail. This undulation in here and this this marabou is really going to do its thing down there. And I can probably put a little more on there. Thicken that up. Because of course when I get it in the water it's going to get a lot skinnier. There we go. Yeah, sometimes you have to go to the other section of these stores or, or listen or, or I learn a lot fishing gear too. I fish both fly and gear so whatever works is what I try to use. Okay at the rear I'm going to come in here with some of my hot pink or UV pink. Actually you can use hot pink on here. Even be better. This is basically just going to give us a little ball up just to tie in our our other fuchsia. I'll probably use polar chenille when I polar chenille. I'm sorry on this, but uh, this is called crystal hackle. That'll work just fine. Why well, put the little ball of chenille on there is because I can have my uh, crystal hackle or this material take a little more of shape or more of an envelope. There we go. I don't want to overdo it. There we go. Plenty. That's plenty for sure. 
you'll see a lot of lures with the electric uh, chicken colors. The electric chicken is a color. Okay, now what we need to do is throw another half hitch up here. I'm going to get some of my holographic chartreuse ice stub. I just love ice stub on everything. And tie back over that. Kind of tied it back. Kind of went back now. Kind of separated it quite nicely. It's a really cool color in the water. And then we'll come in with her chartreuse crystal hackle here. Polar chenille actually, I'm sorry. I like the polar chenille. Probably the best. It goes on a little nicer. A little better flare on it. And this has got UV in it too, so what I wanted down there was some bright flies sometimes. I'm going to tie you up some other when we get into to the uh, saltwater flies. I'll, I'll show you some other really cool colors. So that's it. And I'm just going to go to the front here and tie it off. And I'll put some uh, epoxy on the, in between those eyeballs and, and all that. I'm going to epoxy that on there. That's going to be a lot more durable. It's a good idea to bring in a bodkin just pick this out. You'd be surprised if you throw some of this at a fish in the river, the leaks. Just think outside the box sometime. When it gets a little tough, reach it, reach in a little deep. But it's this jig's really nice and, and uh, got really good movement. I can fish it quite slow when the fish are pouty and they're not really moving too much. You throw something weird like this at them and let it swim and undulate in the water. That'll trigger the dark side of their mind and they'll they'll come and eat that. So there it is. Prince electric chicken and that'll light up the water and turn them tough fish on. I think you could fish that in many different sizes for pike, bass, I'm using it down there for you know redfish, sea trout, I've got snook on it. Um, and there you go. And then when you get to the outside where there's you know you get the the flats, we're catching all kinds of different species out there as well. Spe you know, the speckled sea trout and uh, and uh, so forth. There's just about anything out there will, will eat this. It's nice and bright. They'll see it a long ways away and got a nice long tail on it so it really, really swims. It's a weird one, but give it a try. The electric chicken will put some fish on the end of your line. Remember, tug is a drug. Here's a crazy one for you. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.